Today's video is part of an ongoing collaboration with Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform designed to help build you your very own website. More on that later and now on to the video. welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today's video is going to be a little bit of an autumnal thrift with me grab yourselves your little hot drink i've gone for a lens sip today i feel like i put it out into the universe when i hauled in my poundland video the apple and cinnamon lens sip i was like when i eventually get a cold this winter literally two days later boom oh but these oh my god these taste amazing so i picked up some more from home bargains and i also got these in honey and ginger which i'm about to try now i've not tried this one yet so let's give it a try yeah that's good i think i prefer the apple and cinnamon one um but yay to me oh. i can assure you I sound worse than I feel because I feel like the worst of it has been and gone now so you know I've had it for a few days and I'm not going to digress and talk about my cold because that's not what we're here to do today. What we're here to do today is do a little fun thrift. I've already been thrifting so I'm going to show you the vlog footage in a second but I wasn't overly impressed. I did pick up a few bits which I'll show you at the end of this video but I expected more. There wasn't very seasonal stuff. There wasn't very many seasonal things, if that makes sense. So none of the Halloween -y bits were out yet. So I might have to do a part two. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that maybe into October. Let me know. So without further ado, let's get on to the vlog part of this video and then I'll meet you guys back here in just a few moments to show you guys what I picked up. So guys, make sure you have your nice cups of tea ready or coffee, whichever you prefer. I thought I would talk through a little bit of this vlog footage because there is probably about eight minutes worth. So if you do want to skip ahead and just see the items that I picked up, then by all means, please do so. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, oh my God, that was such a good bargain and one that I kind of regret not picking up. Um, but nevertheless, you win some, you lose some. And I do find with thrifting, it's important to, um, you know, just hold the item and make sure you really, really do appreciate it and like it before you buy it. Because I have in the past bought things and then got them home and then thought, well, I don't really need it. So um, yeah, I do bear that in mind when out thrifting now. That's why I like to include this sort of vlog style first. So I don't pick up items like this coat, for instance, which is beautiful, but I don't really need it. And, um, but you know, I can still then show it to you guys. Cozy knits, as you can tell, are a recurrent theme throughout this video, and that's kind of what I have my eyes peeled for, and mainly homeware as well. That was the other thing that I was looking out for, like this lantern. I thought that was cute. I also th thought this would be quite nice, like as a magazine rack or storing paper and stationery and bits in like in a home office type situation um set of drums have you ever seen that in a charity shop quite like this mirror unit it kind of reminds me of like farmhouse style and this set of shelving units as well were lovely but i did think 40 was a little steep cute orange cushions on this sofa which was for sale but i think it was just the sofa for sale to be honest with you this is a warehouse near us in burnley it's called pendleside hospice it's their furniture shop if you ask the staff they let you in the back so you can have a rummage as well and lots of rattan furniture there as you can tell i love this tray i thought it could be a good diy project maybe to spray paint fully gold and um this is a cute little plant pot as well 
I love these wicker baskets as well, but nine pound I thought was pretty steep for three. I think I'd rather just buy new from Ikea. And this wicker basket wasn't for sale, unfortunately. The rusts, the browns, the burnt oranges, they're the kind of colors that I love for autumn. So I found that mango shirt, but it didn't fit. And also check pattern like this Stradivarius blazer, loved that. Really regretting not buying that, having watched back this vlog footage. That was one thing that I was umming and ahhing about over for quite a while. Back to one of my favourite charity shops, this is the Lancashire First, it's next to Age UK in Burnley, it's the one where it has lots of like Boohoo, Nasty Gal, things that are brand new as well because they have a deal with the Boohoo warehouse whereby they get a lot of sample stocks so if you guys are local to Burnley I would definitely recommend checking it out. I think cushions are a great way to accessorize the home for autumn, winter, but um, just getting cushions from charity shops, I just have like this thing whereby I wanted to make sure they're not like really old and used. So I've spotted a few, but none that I would say were in a sellable enough condition for me to purchase. Cute little 75p plant pot there, which I think one sprig of something or other could look nice in. Very urban outfitters, I thought. This is a shop local to me called Pendleside Hospice. They have 10. I actually did a 10 store thrift challenge, which I did with Mr. Carrington, whereby I went around all 10 stores in a day. If you wanted to see that, I will leave it linked up here with a little eye button, and you can click through and watch that after this video. Shackets were another thing that I was keeping my eyes peeled for and also leather blazers. They're going to be a big trend in autumn and I did spot one and I did actually try it on but it just didn't quite fit me how I wanted it to. I thought £4 was a great bargain for that suitcase actually and in hindsight if you need one or anything like that then this was in a place called Colm, if you're local to the Lancashire area. I thought £4 for that was really good. I love spotting a £1 rail as well. And this one did actually have something from Topshop and also a dress from ASOS. I loved the look of this dress. That olive green was really, really pretty. And this is another one that had a couple of Boohoo sample stock in with the original labels on. Um, so I saw that Boohoo Man trench coat, which I thought was really reasonable, but it was way too big for me and it's not something that I would buy for someone else. This was the leather blazer that I found and I did really, really like it. 12 pounds I think is a bargain. This shop also had an Armani blazer in. So a little more pricey, but the Northwest Air Ambulance shop did have quite good stock. And we're coming to the end of this thrift now. So I'm gonna play the rest of this next minute or two with some music. I hope you enjoyed this vlog style footage and I'll be back with you shortly with showing you the items that I bought. So 
the fun little outing thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed that little vlog style to the video. So let's show you guys why I actually picked up. I got two items of clothing and three homeware bits. Oh no, four homeware bits. I got two shackets, which I've been talking about over on my Instagram. And if you want to see either of these styled up, be sure to head over to my Instagram, which is very Frankton one because I tend to do like my outfit pictures daily over on there. These will definitely be being featured in the autumn to winter months. So great for layering. You can throw a chunky knit under there when it's really cold. And the first one that I picked up is from Russia John Russia. Not really sure how much these retail for, but a lot more than what this was, which was $5.99 from Age UK. It's in a small and it was in the men's section. So I'm just gonna show you from further field. I guess because I've only got two shackets, I could kind of try them on just to give you an idea of what they will look like although i've not washed them which i don't really like wearing charity shop clothes without having washed them so straight after this video they're going in the wash but this is the first Ugh, this is so awkward this is the first sort of jacket and it's a nice length it kind of goes to like below my bum so i can wear leggings with it as you can tell, I've got my loungewear leggings on today. It's one of those days. It's actually a Sunday I'm filming this today, so very casual and comfy. I love this. I have just rolled up the sleeves slightly. It does have a slightly oversized fit, so I do feel like it is a men's, um, but can definitely be unisex. Why not? And then the other jacket that I got, jacket, shirt jacket, if you didn't already know, although these are more jackets, I suppose, this one is from a brand called Capsule. That is what the branding looks like. I paid five pounds for this and this was in the women's section of the Northwest Air Ambulance Charity Shop. It is a size 16. But I like my jackets oversized so that I can layer with big chunky knits. Um, like I said earlier, if and when it gets very cold apparently we're set for a really cold january this year oh my god i'm flying on the 31st of december to south africa so hopefully we're not gonna be like snowed in or anything oh god i've said it now <laughs> anyway this is the next jacket again it is the same longer length so that i could wear with just leggings i love the color of this one um, and I kind of like the fact that the zip can be like a hidden zip as well. But I probably just wear it open and again, rolled up sleeves. This is definitely autumnal because it has autumn in the name. I picked this up at just one pound. I can't remember where this was now. I think it was just a local charity shop, Pendleside Hospice. And it is a recipe book with all different autumnal inspired dishes. Love the front cover of this. I think that looks like a really nice soup that I could have now, actually, with crusty bread. I also picked up this cute little jar. This was from Age UK, and it was just 99p, and it has a little gold speckling on it and a little gold trim around the edge as well. So once I've given this a wash, I thought I could actually put some baby's breath in here, gypsophilia, or some kind of dried floral arrangement that will look quite autumnal. I love the colour, white, gold, it's pretty much my entire home is whites, golds, creams. So yeah, love that and just 99p. I also picked up some coasters which I thought were quite seasonal in that their print is of like Oh, I, I don't know. What is this? Is it just wheat? So this is what they look like. The coasters have ever so slightly different variations of different grass, as you can tell. And I love the white and brown. Only 99p, again from Age UK. Age UK did well today. At £6, I got myself a new lamp. We had a lamp, and it was like a dark charcoal kind of gunmetal grey which grey I've kind of worked out of my home now and it was also one that had a red and black cord so 
I'm sure you guys can imagine that was just putting my feng shui off completely. So I said to Tom, look, I know it's a really nice lamp and you also agree that that red cord is just, it doesn't go with the look. And um, I said, if I can find an alternative, can we donate that one? And he said, yes. So I found this all matte white one, which I thought was very like Apple store. Um, I need to sort out this cord and like kind of run it through a bit so it's looks a bit neater but I tried it in the store it works it has a bulb in it already but I guess you could switch that out for a different one if you wanted but six pounds for a little on off light bulb switch I mean it kind of looks a bit Ikea doesn't it oh it's from next okay nice I like next home items so that is my final less seasonal item that I picked up on this shopping trip. Do let me know again if you want part two of this, maybe in October. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that Squarespace has very kindly sponsored this video. I am working with Squarespace on an ongoing partnership, which I have been loving working with them. I've basically been redesigning my own website with their platform. I kind of got a bit uh, stale over on my blog and stopped posting for quite a long while. So I've got my sort of blogging creative juices flowing again and I'm so excited to get some more content up on my website even if it's just more imagery. I'm thinking of doing, tying this in with thrifting, of some kind of thrifting element to the website, maybe even a whole separate tab. So we've got fashion, beauty, lifestyle, home and thrift vintage charity something like that whereby i can share with you guys all of my fashion and homeware thrifted finds and then how i've styled them up and everything obviously for more imagery you can always head over to my instagrams my fashion one freya farrington one and my homeware freya farrington home but i can't always tag the items that are thrifted on there so it would be quite nice maybe on my website to have a tab whereby I can do that. Essentially, it's an all-in-one platform online that is built to help you build your very own website. So maybe you are creative and you are a photographer, videographer, you want to create some kind of an online portfolio or just an online presence and you want to create it in your own way. You kind of just want to start with something that looks really chic but is very easy to use and they have a great service of tech team where they help you out with any questions that you can have it's like an online chat facility you can email them they're so useful the team that I have been such a great helping hand to me in helping me create my very own website which is currently not like online yet so if you try and search for my website and you can't find it that is why what i will do is leave a link to squarespace down in the description box if you wanted to head over to the website i will also include a discount code so that if you do decide you want to go ahead after your free trial period and make a purchase then you can get 10 percent of your first purchase so that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys at this stage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and stay tuned for more by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. I hope to see you all in my next video and until then, bye guys.